Hello, and welcome to Star Wars Obsessed. Today, I am going to show off Deluxe Boba Fett. Deluxe Boba Fett came out in... When? 1996. And it was a series of all these deluxe figures, like the Deluxe Han Solo with Smuggler Flight Pack, the Deluxe Luke Skywalker Desert Sports GIF, and the Deluxe Crowd Control Stormtrooper. Deluxe figures sold separately. What does this have to say? As a result of Luke Skywalker's daring rescue of Han Solo from the clutches of Jabba the Hutt, Boba Fett was thrust into the Great Pit of Carcoon and presumed to be a victim of the dreaded Sarlacc. Sometime later, the notorious bounty hunter was spotted on Nar Shadda with a menacing looking weapons pack. Several rumors have been spread concerning his recent escape and, present, and present situation, the most prevalent one being that Hutts have contracted him to capture Han Solo and Princess Leia alive for the death of Jabba. A weapons master, Boba Fett has a veritable arsenal hidden throughout his Mandalorian armor. His new pack is reported to possess powerful turbo thrusters that provide prolonged atmospheric flight up to 500 km per hour. Shielded battle wings open to revealed missile racks loaded with concussion rockets while heavy rotating blasters, similar to those mounted on Jabba's sail barge, respond to optically activated signals in the helmet. Certainly the deadliest feature of this device vehicle is the bolstered proton torpedo launcher. It is estimated that this pack was designed and built by Boba Fett himself, besides the fact that not one of its kind has ever been seen before, the type and variety of its weaponry. Few other than Fett would dare carry a proton torpedo on his back. Suggests that this battle machine be a signature model of the galaxy's most notorious bounty hunter. Did he really wear something like this? Is this something that's canon? Or at least canon before Disney and now Legends? I had never heard of that before. That's crazy. Those are the figures out at the time in the vehicle. So let's remove Boba Fett. What does this say at the bottom? Slide the tab on the figure's back into the slot in the backpack. Lower the harness over the figure's head. Load the projectile into the cannon launcher. Snap the launcher to the backpack as shown. Press the firing button backwards to fire launcher. To open the panels, press down on the levers on both sides of the backpack. You have to manually return the panels to the back. The panel weapons are rotatable. All right, here is the Power of the Force Boba Fett with a different type of backing. And here's the one that came out. <clears throat> when did this one come out? 1995. The non-deluxe version, but you know, basically this the same figure, only this one doesn't have the Wookiee pelts like this one does. But it pretty much is the same figure. Uh, oh, this one also has the cape, whereas this one doesn't. And this one has the jetpack, where this one doesn't, because we got the deluxe jetpack. Alright. Let's get this thing out. And, oh, that wasn't too bad. And it has a torpedo. Alright, there it is. The deluxe jetpack. So this is, whoops, okay, this one comes off easily. Attachable. So this is, oh, this is the cannon or the torpedo. All right, let's see. This goes just in this slot. And then there he goes. Wow, this is gigantic on this figure. So this can turn. And then, how do we shoot? Oh, there's the trigger. And see the wings go out. Oh, oh, this goes down. I thought it was kind of funny because it was up like this, but you got to push that down. 
Uh, how does... Okay. Uh, I'm assuming these turn. Yes, they do. How does this come out? Oh, here they are. Here we go. There they go. Just hit my finger. Okay, so this has to go back. You have to manually put this back. Let's do it this way. And there they go. Do they move up? Nope. That's pretty much it. And then the cannons come out like this. Does it? Does he stay? Stand well? Yes, this helps him stand quite well because of that part right there. All right, well, this is hardcore. Got nice detail on the backpack. Different colors with the reds and the greens and the grays. Chrome here and there and your paint coming off and exposing chrome. Back like that. Back like that. Put this back like this. Interesting. So when I put one back, the other one pops open. Put the other back. The other pops open. Apparently you have to put them both at the same time. You see how he stands with it closed. Alright, see the cannon can go all the way back like this. What happens if I close it? Then it's it's not able to close. So if I close this, let's see. Can he hold this? I guess not. I guess there's no point since it can just go right there. Well, this is interesting. Picture back here shows that he has a blaster, but it didn't come with a blaster. What's up with that? All right, Boba Fett to the extreme. Whoa, extreme Boba Fett. Whoa. Now where to display this thing? This is a good place. I'm going to display the Deluxe Boba Fett with my Deluxe Crowd Control Stormtrooper. 